Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Type Recommendations Dragon List Type of Cards We Will Cover Good Cards Recommended Cards Universal Cards Here is a list of good Dragon Type Cards Spider The Storm Wind Dragon's Rage Dragon Shield Mountain Okay, let's talk about Rider. You can target one dragon normal monster you control. Put this monster from your hand or field to that target. If a monster could put this card attack the defense of your monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. If a monster could put this card will be destroyed, destroy this card instead. Good points. 1. Doing piercing battle damage. 2. Many a time in a dragon based deck, you will be able to get rid of high attack position monsters but have no effective way to deal damage to defense position monsters. 3. Easily accessible. You can special summon this monster with 1 for bad points. 1. You can only equip it to normal monsters. 2. 1 for 1 is not a card that can be searched or added quickly enough by most dragon decks. 3. 9 times out of 10, it will be a dead card in your hand. 4. It's not searchable. Okay, let's talk about Dragon's Rage. Dragon type monsters you control inflict piercing battle damage when they attack a defense position monster. This is a continuous trap card. Good points. 1. You can do damage to defense position monsters immediately. 2. Being a continuous trap means its effect applies to all dragons you control. Bad point. 1. It's a trap. Traps in Yu-Gi-Oh can't be activated immediately unless the trap says so, and even in that instance, certain conditions need to be fulfilled. 2. It can be easily destroyed before you get to use it, and getting cards to protect it can cost your deck balance to go out and grow. 3. You can't search it or add it to your hand quickly. 4. It does not have built-in protection on it. Okay, let's talk about Dragon Shield. Equipped only to a Dragon-type monster. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Neither player takes any battle damage from attacks involving it. Good points. 1. It protects your Dragon-type monster by battle and card effects. 2. If your Dragon-type monster has an effect that it needs to battle and survive to initiate its effect. Bad points. 1. You can't deal battle damage with this equipped. 2. Equipped cards tend to be dead cards in hand with most dragon based decks. 3. Since dragon based decks can get rid of monsters easily, you will re really never see the need to protect your dragon. Okay, let's talk about Mountain. Increase the attack and defense of all dragon, wind beast, and thunder type monsters by 200 points. Good points! 1. This is a field spell. The effect applies to all your monsters. Bad points! 1. The increase in attack points is too small to matter. Here is a list of recommended cards. 1. Dragon Ravine. 2. Red Eyes Darkness Meadow Dragon. 3. Destrudo The Lost Dragon Frizzen. Let's talk about Dragon Ravine is a field spell card. Let me give you an example with the utilities of Dragon Ravine. So, I am now going to talk about Dragon Ravine and the potential uses that you can do with it. Look at the, this board. As you can see, this board is pretty explosive. But uh, how can we fully utilize this board and go a step further? So, I'm going to activate the effect of Dragon Ravine. I'm going to discard one card as you can see here, the card I'm going to discard is Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, like so. You can see that it is in the graveyard now. Then, with the Dragon Ravine's effect, I'm going to send one card from my deck to the graveyard. As you can see, I have sent Monster, a card from my deck to the graveyard. Then, I'm going to activate the effect of Light Pulsar Dragon. Uh, Light Pulsar Dragon's effect states, I can special summon this card from my hand by banishing one light or dark monster from my graveyard. 
When the scar descends from the field to the graveyard, I can talk to the five or nine doctor, that target of one's death in the graveyard is before summer, that target. So I will do just that. Here is my board. I will then proceed to link summon Borrow Lord Dragon. Then activate the effect of Light Pulsar. Special summoning Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from my graveyard onto the field. Next, I activate the effect of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Special summoning a dragon type monster from my hand or graveyard. I will choose Auto Rocket in my graveyard, like so. And it gets better. If my opponent controls a Link monster, I can special summon Gateway Dragon in my hand. Like so. And I think you see where this is going. All these plays were made possible because of Dragon Ravine. Yes, I did have, um, you know, a pretty good hand, but it would have. All these plays would not have been possible. An intricate part of these plays are possible because of Dragon Ravine. So definitely take in the Dragon Ravine for your dragon based decks. Let's talk about Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. I will now show you an example of the uses of this monster. Hi there. So I'm going to talk about the utilities of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Let's read that effect. Let's zoom in. You can special summon this card from your hand by banishing one face up dragon type monster you control. Once per turn, you can special summon one dragon type monster from your hand or graveyard except Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Let's zoom back out. Check it. Our graveyard has Borrowed Dragon. So we're going to use the effect. Let's go into it. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon to special summon. Borrowed Dragon from our graveyard. And so those are the utilities of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. You can special summon a dragon type monster from your hand or graveyard. The possibilities are endless. You, you could use it to set up combo plays in your dragon based deck. It's essentially a revival, a plus one, if you will, if we're gonna get technical, we're gonna get like, sexy with those uh, word plays. But yeah, so Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, definitely uh, one of in the TCG, but definitely this is a dark dragon type monster that you really do want in your dragon based deck. You really can't say no to Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Let's talk about Destrudo, the Lost Dragon Frizzard. I will now show you the uses of this monster. And here we have it. Destrudo, the Lost Dragon's Frizzle. This dragon is so good that for the rest of this video, I'm going to call him Destrudo Kung because he's so good! Oh my god! Anyways, now that I've had uh, that geek out moment, let's talk about Destrudo Kung and why he's so good! Let's read its effect. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can pay half your life points, then target one level 6 or lower monster you control. Special summon this card, and if you do, this card's level is reduced by the level of the targeted monster. Also place this card on the bottom of the deck. If it leaves the field, you can only use its effect of Destrudo of Dragon Frizzle once per turn. Let me now show you why Destrudo card is so good. Follow this example of plays that can be done with Destrudo Kung kicking off. First, I'll activate Foolish Burial to send a monster from my deck to the graveyard. I'll send Supreme King Dragon Dark Verb and let's read his effect. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Supreme King Gate from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card and you can only use each monster effect of Supreme King Dragon Dark Verb once per turn. Next, I will activate Dragon Ravine. I will activate the effect of Supreme King Dragon Dark Fur, special summoning it. When it's special summoned, its effect activates, meaning Supreme King Dragon Dark Fur's effect activates, meaning I can add one Supreme King Gate Pendulum from my deck to my hand, which I will. Like so, I have added Supreme King Gate Infinity from my deck to my hand. I will then activate it, like so. There it is. Supreme King Gate Infinity is activated. Next, I'll activate the effect of Dragon Ravine. And its effect reads, if we go and zoom into it, once per turn you can discard one card, then activate one of these effects. One, add one level four or lower Dragonity monster from your deck to your hand. Two, send one Dragon monster from my deck to the graveyard. What I'm going to do is activate the second effect. So, 
First, as we'll zoom out, I'll discard, like so. Next, I'll send my boy Destrado Kung, like so. Activate Destrado Kung's effect, like so. Synchro into Odai's Meteor Burst Dragon. Activate the effect of Odai's Meteor Burst Dragon. When it, this card is special summoned, I can target one card in my Pendulum Zone and special summon it. So that is what I will do, like so. Then, the next thing I will do is overlay to number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk, like so. Oh, we're not done yet. Next, I'll activate number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk's effect. Let's read it. Once per turn, you can detach two XYZ materials from this, car from this card, but to summon as many Battle Eagle tokens, Machine Type, Wind, Wind Level 6, Attack, 2000 and defense zero as possible, destroy them during the end phase of this turn. Also your opponent takes no further battle damage this turn. And there you have it, you can see all these tokens. All this was made possible because of our lord and savior, Destrunokun! He's so strong! He's so good! Anyway, you get the general idea. So yeah, so definitely Get yourself a, dis a Destrudokun if you haven't already. One of the best uh, dragon type monsters we've got in the game in a long time. Destrudokun is king. Destrudokun will never do you any wrong. Universal cards. These are the dragon type cards and dragon related cards you will find in nearly all dragon decks. Let's list the universal dragon type cards. One. Traded. 2. Crystal Wing, Synchro Dragon. 3. Number 38, Hope Harbringer, Dragon Titanic Galaxy. 4. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. 5. Dragon Ravine. 6. Astrodo Kung! 7. Moral Load Dragon. 8. Moral Sword Dragon. 9. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. 10. Scarlight, Red Dragon Art Fiend. 11. Dark Rebellion. 12. Mr. Prominence, Blasting Draco Slayer. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.